and it's my fortune to uh, speak on this day and definitely it's very fortunate it's said in smart bhaktam so 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 sadhanasya vasudeva katharuchi so the process of um, spiritual progress is hearing by krishna and today we'll be discussing um, about bhagavad gita and and as being ikadashi um, it just becomes very very special and um, definitely we will start with the uh, prayers of jay radha madhav sing some bhajan jay radha madhava kunj bihari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare 
ज्ञानी परिप्रश्न सेवया उपदेक्षा ते ज्ञान स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर तत्व of the truth darshan ha shares 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 translation just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master inquire from him submissively and render service unto him the self realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth so purport by his divine grace the bhakti vedanta swami srupopar ki jai The path of spiritual realization is undoubtedly difficult. The Lord therefore advises us to approach a bona fide spiritual master in the line of disciplic succession from the Lord himself. No one can be bona fide spiritual master without following this principle of disciplic succession. The Lord is the original spiritual master and a person in the disciplic succession can convey the message of the Lord as it is to his disciple. No one can be spiritually realized by manufacturing his own process, as did the fashion of the foolish pretenders. The Bhagavatam 6.3.19 says, "Dharma tu saksha Bhagavat pranitam." The path of religion is directly enunciated by the Lord. Therefore, mental speculation or dry arguments cannot help lead one to the right path. Nor by deep and independent study of books of knowledge can one progress in spiritual life. One has to approach a bona fide spiritual master to receive the knowledge. Such a spiritual master should be accepted in full surrender, and one should serve the spiritual master like a menial servant without false prestige. Satisfaction of the self-realized spiritual master is a secret of advancement in spiritual life. Inquiries. and submission constitute the proper combination of spiritual understanding unless there is a submission and service inquiries from a lord spiritual master will not be effective one must be able to pass the test of spiritual master and when he sees the genuine desire of the disciple he automatically blesses the disciple with genuine spiritual understanding in this verse both blind following and absurd inquiries are condemned Not only should one hear submissively from the spiritual master, but one must also get a clear understanding from him in submission and service and inquiries. A bona fide spiritual master is by nature very kind towards the disciple. Therefore, when the student is submissive and is always ready to render service, the reciprocation of knowledge and inquiries becomes perfect. Om Jnana Timirandasya. ज्ञाजन शलाकया चक्षुर मिलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष स्थात ये नूतले स्वयं कदाम ददाति स्वदंतिक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीयुक्तापदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवांस श्रीपाकजाता सहगण रघुनाथाता सजीव साधत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव 
श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सहगन ललिता श्री विष्णुशाखान्वितम स हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय वाशा कल्पतरोग कृपा सिंधु व्यव च पति भावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे शेल्टर we know that everybody is looking for something in life right and if you see bhagavad gita this whole chapter is called transcendental knowledge chapter 4 but bhagavad gita in chapter 2 itself begins with this mood of arjuna surrendering to krishna right when once bewildered there are some lot of ways that we seek for something sometimes we are hunger we seek for food right but over here arjuna is in such a situation he is in situation where he has to make a decision right to fight or not to fight and as confusion to make that decision he needs to make an inquiry from krishna right but in the beginning of bhagavad gita he was just making a friendly talk and krishna realized that he was not really giving very essential like deep knowledge to arjuna in terms of that so the real inquiry the real uh um, the instruction actually uh, krishna started when arjuna surrendered to krishna karpanya dosho pahata swabhavah prikshami tvam dharma samur cheta yashresha nishitam bruhitan me shishasti ham sadimam tvam prapannam so arjuna surrenders saying that o oh krishna i don't i want to stop this you know as a friendly talk i'm i'm surrendered you please accept me as a disciple i'm so confused and bewildered what to do and what not to do right so in life it's very very sometimes it's very difficult to decide what actually to do and not to do that's why yes astra pramanante karya akara karya vyavasthito that shastra actually is a praman actually tells us it's a is a mirror or it actually guide us what to do and what not to do right and to understand sasa like you know we see that um, this arjuna is quality in time mahabharat is quality of of knowledge he wants to always learn right and he never gives up while learning process and this is one of the quality is seen in bhagavad gita that how inquisitive and how surrender is arjuna right because in even in the war somebody is in such a situation that you know you are already declaring a war and what already the counters are blown and anyone can attack any time right but he is taking a time to make a decision right in life this is very important sometime for certain decision is to take time right we have to inquire what i am supposed to is it right what i'm going to do right so for that right when we are confused our decision will be very weak sri radha shyam sundar ki jai sri jai nimayta ki jai so during our confusion 
to make a decision is something very very difficult right because our decision that we are going to make is definitely it will be will not be complete right so that hankering of now i need to find someone is very very important right the seeking we need to find i need to so just like dhruva bharas how deeply he was engaged that i want to meet krishna i want to see him because i want to ask this blessing from him i want to have better kingdom than my grand grandfather lord brahma i want i want better place or better opulence than lord brahma just imagine and i want to see krishna when we have this deep like they're seeking that i want to see krishna right then actually there is a direction right and we can see even parikshit maharaj right when he had this situation we has seven days left to leave he doesn't know what to what to do and he inquired from the brahmanas what to do many devotees then and they um, he ultimately come to sukadev goswami and he heard shrimad bhagavata right he submissively as being a king just imagine and he seeks shelter with his um sukadev goswami who is very young by age and he is naked you know not no, nobody even like you know will look, look at him but he knew sukadev goswami as a perfect guru he is a person who can save me in the most difficult time of my life right so that's why and it is very important that we need to find a guru right even in material world like we want to learn something right i want to become a doctor i want to become an engineer i want to learn some programming or something we need some guru right to teach us right so why not in the spiritual part it, it says in sas jivira swarup hoy krishna de nitidas that we know that we are eternal servant of krishna even before even knowing that even we don't know that actually we are part and parcel of krishna we need to serve krishna that's why we need guru for that and even after like knowing oh like you know i am part and parcel of krishna but i don't know how to serve right because like where is krishna <laughs> i can see krishna how can i serve him right those qualification are not with us right so that le- learning process like you know there are a lot of process there is pratyaksha praman you know by seeing i believe you know this is yellow i believe like this is yellow color so by pratyaksha by own our own sense perception right we see then we believe that's called there's a knowledge of by seeing ourselves like the second learning process is called anuman praman by by imagining maybe if this is uh, the room like this size maybe upstairs is all the same same size of room should be there like the anuman you speculate right and the third knowledge called sabda praman sabda praman is highly authoritative because it comes from krishna so purusha the vedas are the sabda praman because it come from the absolute truth bhagwan swayam right and why our knowledge like what we acquire or what we understand is not very perfect because we all have this defects the four defects right the first defect is karna patava so karna patava means the imperfect senses we all have imperfect senses right right even even like you know i i i have limitation of seeing something right i need to put glasses right all my senses have like you know i can test certain amount uh, amount of food i can hear certain sound vibration like the dogs like you know they can hear different kind of sound vibration i can never never hear it right so we have in perfect senses and second is bhram we have a tendency to be in illusion right just like a mirage in the desert somebody is thirsty and they can see it's like a lake shining like and they try to drink the water it's like shining but it's actually not like this desert it's a mirage right so we all are we have this tendency to be in illusion and the third one is called pramada so tendency to make mistake everybody makes mistake in life i don't think everyone can say that i never made mistakes everyone makes mistake whole mahabharat actually is try to uh, give an idea that everyone make mistakes except the supreme lord krishna only krishna is perfect right that's why what he gives is also perfect that's why the shastra right and the fourth is called vipralipsa the cheating propensity we all have cheating propensity as a kid 
now, tomorrow, you know, we have that, that tendency. Right? So it's very difficult to know Krishna with this imperfection. Right? So, and when we accept, that's why, that's why we need someone to guide us. And this spiritual subject is such a deep subject, right? Very difficult for us, right? And in, in Sasa it says um, that as a human being, we're supposed to inquire about life. Atado Brahma Jigyasa. We should inquire, who am I? Why am I doing here? What is my purpose of my life? I don't want to die, but I still die. I don't want to get old, but I still get old. Why is this happening to me? That Jigyasa, the inquisitiveness, should be there in our life. Right? But for, to fulfill that inquisitiveness, right? everybody, so many people have this kind of inquiries maybe in life. Sometimes they are so frustrated. Why? Like, you know, I'm, I'm such a nice person, but why am I suffering? Right? So many things happen, but where I can get this guidance? How, how can I know? Right? That's why Sasa says in Chaitanya Brahmani Brahmite Kona Bhagyavanji. Guru Krishna Prasad Pai Bhakti Ratavis. In the whole Brahman, the entire universe, that person is most fortunate to find the Guru, Krishna Prasad, who gives you Krishna Prasad. You to find that Guru, the person who gives you the Bhakti Lata Bija, the seed of devotion. Hey, you're supposed to worship Krishna. You are the eternal servant of Krishna. You're not his body, you're a spirit soul. You are part and parcel of Krishna. Who can really tell us and find this kind of people is very, very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. Right? So, so if we know that even for material, material thing, we need some kind of training. We go through vigorous process, like somebody wants to become a doctor. You know, some devotees like in our congregation, my Dr. Lucia Omer, we had his daughter. Going for many years of training, 10 years almost, just to get that certificate of like, you know, I'm a doctor. And practice again you so much and just imagine just understand to go back to God in it's not something very easy it's very very difficult right so that's why we need to we need to accept Guru because in certain time it is explained explain, explain that Tate Krishna Bhaja Kare Guru Rasevana Maya Jale Chutte Pai Krishnera Charana how a person can get the lotus feet of Krishna, right? So it says that a person should, can practice Krishna consciousness by serving Guru, right? Tati Krishna Bhaje. How you can worship Krishna? By Karira Guru Sevana. By serving Guru, right? So Maya Jala Chute, because of why when we serve Guru, then the Maya Jala, so the very difficult process because the attachment what we have can be taken away, right? So who actually is a guru? Who actually guru? We just talked about briefly about we need a guru, but in, in, it's explained guru sabdastu nirodakaha. Ru sabda, so sorry, guru sabdastu andakarasya, ru sabda ta nirodakaha. As we prayed in the, in the beginning, Oma jnana timirandasya jnananjana salakaya, so what Guru does is that we have this Andhakar. We have eyes, right? But the eyes is covered by the cataract. So when the cataract covers our eyes, even we have eyes, but we cannot see. And Guru is like a doctor. Okay, with the tool, Salakaya, with the tools, will remove this cataract. Right? We have all this. We are actually soul, Sachit Ananda. We have this. But we are covered by the illusion, right? This lost anger, greed, false ego, everything is covered. So this Andhakara that actually is talking about is darkness of heart. We all have this darkness and a different level of thickness. And the real darkness is our Bhuga Drishti, the enjoying mentality. And Guru actually destroyed this Bhuga. Bhoga Vritti, the Bhoga consciousness, right? Because Janmasya Boham Aham Amiti, we think that I am the enjoyer from the time of birth. We think this is my father, this is my house, this is my property, this is my clothes, everything, it's mine, it's mine, mine. We had this 
consciousness we develop. This bhoga biman. And guru, first thing it does is kicks out this bhoga biman. Because as we devotees get initiated, so the first thing guru does is he makes you a servant. You are now das and dasi. Right? So first it turns into servant. Because that is very important. Because without humility, become, becoming a servant, you cannot practice bhakti, right? We can, we can have so many qualities, we can be detached, we can be charitable, we can be so many things we can do. But to give up our pride, right? Tahmamiti is very difficult. I am the doer mentality. It's very difficult to come, come, come out. The mithya ahankar, right? The false ego. That's why the guru converts the false ego to the real ego. You're not, you're not who, whom you think you are. Actually, you were a servant of Krishna. You're supposed to serve. So that's why you are a das and you are a dasi. Right? That's the first uh, mood that Guru actually established. And he established this connection that we are this part and parcel of Krishna. Right? So, um, and it's, we can never judge a Guru by external. Right? And we can associate Guru by Vani and Babu. That Vani means by hearing, right? And Vapu by personal association. Right? It is said in Sastra that the Vani is much more important than Vapu. The very nice story in this connection that um, one time uh, Srila Prabhupada and his disciple, they were, they were sitting together and Prabhupada was complaining, Maharaj, oh no, Srila Prabhupada, nowadays you don't come to our temple much. You go to like LA or the temples, but not why to our temple? Like, you know, we. You, you don't love us much. Then there was a fly, like you know, in, in Sri Prabhupada's dhoti. And Prabhupada pointed out, you see, you see this fly? The fly is very close to me. Doesn't mean that I don't, I love this fly more than you all. Right? So it's not about the distance. Right? That's, it's all about the bhava. It's connection, the establishment. So they say that time, right? And uh, time and distance never come when there is a mood of connection. When you want to remember somebody, time doesn't, you, you know, that, that mood of separation you automatically feel, right? So it doesn't matter about how distant you are. You can build that connection, right? So, um, and I was pointing that Guru cannot be like just by external thing. There is very nice pastime in uh, Chaitanya Chaitamit when and one time Mukunda Datta uh, says to him that he, he loves to travel and meet a lot of devotees. Um, and uh, Mukunda Datta said, Gadadar Pandit, you know, there's such a nice elevated devotees. We should take association of him. Let me take you. So uh, they, they took to, a, uh, there was a very, um, very elevated devotical Pundarik Vidyanidhi. And when they went to meet Pundarik Vidyanidhi, he was sitting in the opulent chair, you know, with the lips, uh, like, you know, reddish lips, with mascara, and a lot of servants serving him, and all those things. And the other party was thinking, what will happen to Mukunda? You know, just, just look at it, looks like a very karmi person. You know, too much opulence, so much attached, decorating himself. What is this? Then Mukunda realized, you know, the feelings of Gadadar Pandit. Then, um, Gadadar Pandit, uh, Mukundadara started reciting this Simad Bhagavatam Sloka, right? Aho Bakiyam Stanakalakutam Jingham Sayapayadapya Sadvi Lebhe Gatim Thatru Chitam Tatunyam Kamva Dayalum Sharanam Rajema When he heard this, Pundarik Vidyanidhi got crazy, mad. He started chanting Krishna, Krishna. Because this verse actually is explaining that uh, even Sukadev Goswami actually, he left home. When he was born, he immediately started walking and went away from home. And Vyasadil is calling, oh my son, my son, where, where are you living? I was I had so much hope that you'll be my disciple, you know, you'd carry over all this work. And he just left away. But when he went to the jungle, like, you know, he was afraid of Maya. But when he was going to jungle and heard this verse, then he saw, oh, Krishna is so merciful. Even Putana, you know, who was trying to feed poison, 
right, in, in the, from, through her breast milk. And Krishna delivered her, right, and made her mother in the spiritual world. When they, he heard actually this, Sukhdev Goswami, wow, Krishna, like, you know, there is, there is hope. Krishna can protect. Then he actually goes back and wanted to learn Simhal Bhagavatam from his father. In the same way, when Pundari Vidyanidhi heard his words, he went crazy. And he fainted, literally. Then when uh, Gadadha Pandit saw this, Oh Krishna, I offended him. He is such a Vaishnava. That's why he says, Vaishnavira Kriya Mudra Vigina Bhajani. You cannot understand the activities of a Vaishnava. You cannot make a judgment of our, through our conditioned mind. You cannot. So Gadadha Pandit felt so bad. I, how can I find a Vaishnava like him? So because of that, actually, he accepted Pundari Vidyanidhi as his guru, right? So this is the thing, we cannot judge the guru by external. And Vaishnavas, this guru, are very, 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 very compassionate. This says in a beautiful bhajan by Northam Das Thakur, I think, um, says, Gangara prashaho prashaho ile Pashate Pavan Darsane Pavitra Koroi Tomara Guna. Just like Ganga, by touching Mother Ganga, right? The water of holy, holy water of Ganga, it will purify you, right? Maybe later we will touch it. But by even seeing a Vaishnava, Darsane Pavitra Koroi Tomara Guna, Guru has this power. A Vaishnava has this power by just by you looking at a Vaishnava, actually you may know or you may not know, you are actually getting purified. That's a power of Vaishnava. Very, very powerful process. Right? Jad Bhara, when he was carrying this palanquin of Rahugana, and when Jad Bhara was chastising, um, uh, Rahugana was chastising Jad Bhara, you know, I'll, I'll like, you know, your servant, you're trying to put that mood. Right, that I am, I am the master, and you're supposed to serve me, and you, this is how you serve. Because when he was trying to hold the palanquin, you know, the palanquin was move, moving like you know, right and left. And because actually, Jad Bharat was seeing some end on the road, so he was he was very careful to not to step on it. And when Jad Bharat spoke something, a spiritual, Logan already understood that this is not an ordinary person, and he comes down from his spelling and falls down at his lotus feet. And he says, you know that I am not even afraid of the, the Trishul of Lord Shiva, even Brahma Danda of Lord Brahma. Kuvera is Astra, the sun, the moon, the Yamaraj, Yamadanda. I am not afraid of any of this, but I am afraid of offending the Vaishnava. And he prostrate. That's what Vaishnava found. Right. So that's why. Sorry. So Krishna, um, like we talked about, who really is Guru then? And in the kind of instruction, Rupa Goswami gives a quality of a Guru. Vachu vegam manashakru the vegam, jibha vegam udarapaspas the vegam, etan veganu visahe the tira, sarvam apimam prithivim sashisha. Who has control of urges, right? Vacho, of speaking, the tongue, the genitals, the, the what is of touch, everything he has control. That kind of person can actually make disciple all over the world. He is qualified. That's the power of Guru. And Guru is a very, very merciful, right? The merciful cloud, the word. Um, uh, Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur in this beautiful prayers says that samsara dava nalalitha loka tranaya karunya khana khana tvam prapta shakalyana gunana vasya vande guru shri charanara vindam This samsara is a forest fire, such a suffering place. Samsara dava nalalitha loka, just like in a forest fire. It's very difficult to take it off. You can have so many fire trucks, you know, helicopters trying to like put it off. Very difficult. The only best way is heavy rain. 
दावा दावा संसार दावा नल ली धनु का त्राणाय कारुण्य भन घना घनत्व सो दिस क्लाउड घना दिस डार्क क्लाउड ऑफ ऑफ द रेन वाटर दैट कैरीज दैट एक्चुअली गुरु हिज कैरी दिस मर्सी फॉर आवर बर्निंग हार्ट राइट सो वी हैव टू सरेंडर एज अ वंदे गुरु श्री शरणार्थी वी हैव टू सरेंडर टू दिस गुरु राइट इज अ मर्सी पर्सनिफाइड एंड भागवतम आल्सो It's described very beautiful. Janasya Krishna, Vimukha Shiv Deva, Adharma Sila Shasudu Kitasya, Anugrahaye Na Charanti Nunam, Bhuta Ni Bhavya Ni Janardha Nasya. So if you see that in this world, material world, everybody is suffering. Sudu Kitasya, everybody is suffering, and why they suffering? Janasya Krishna, Bhimukha Shya Deva. They are away from Krishna because they are not connected to Krishna. They are all suffering. And what Guru does, because he's so compassionate, right? He's so compassionate, seeing these people suffering. All right. That's why he's traveling. He says he's traveling all around the world to preach Krishna consciousness, to give them Krishna. You know, because this living entity is suffering. Even Pralad Maharaj prays the same way that I am delivered. I am delivered from this material world, but I am really concerned about these people who are so much attached with this material thing. They think that they are going to save it. This material, like you know, hankering, the material, material achievements they have, is going to save them, and they are unfortunate, right? So that's a compassionate. This is a guru. That's a quality, right? And and the what other quality of guru makes a guru is he's a representative god, right? As uh, I was mentioning, he's representing God and the previous acharya. If you see our altar, we have Prabhupada and, and his guru and his guru and his guru and guru. That's how we get connected. And Scon, our society is called Brahma Gaudiya Madhva Sampradaya. So we see that. Lord Krishna, because this knowledge um, itself comes from Krishna, Dharma to Sakshat Bhagavat Pranidha, right? Because this this knowledge, this Dharma, right? This information of Vedic life comes from Krishna Himself, right? And this is being transformed, right? Through the chain of disciplic succession, and there are the four sampradayas, the Vaishnava sampraday. So Lord Krishna gives this knowledge to Lord Brahma. Right, Adi Kavay in in the heart of Lord Brahma. So this is the first guru from like Krishna gave this instruction to Lord Brahma, and from Brahma it went to Narada, Narada to Madhvacharya. Like all this Vyasdev, Vyasdev to Madhvacharya. All this Acharya Parampara we have, and this is is con is our is Brahma Gaudiya Sampradaya. We are from the Lord Brahma, the chain of Lord Brahma, and there is other sampradaya called. Sri Sampradaya. It's come from Sri Lakshmi, and the Acharya in Kali Yuga is Ramanuj Acharya, and there is a other Sampradaya is called Rudra Sampradaya, which come from Lord Shiva, and Vishnu Swami is the main Acharya in Kali Yuga, and there's a four Kumara Sampradaya. The I mean Kumara Sampradaya from the four Kumaras, right? And Nimbak Acharya is the main Acharya for them. So Guru is just like a postman. He Transfer the information as it is. You know, whatever Krishna says, he gets delivered. That's what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. Evam param para praptam imam rajar sayo vidu sakale na mahata yogo nashta parantapa. Arjuna, you can understand this knowledge only through what? This param para, the disciple succession. It's not whimsical. I can just you know get the books. I can get it. Is not possible, right? Because who created this Veda? Sarvashya chaham ridisanni vishto matas mitir gyan mapo hanam sa Veda is a survey. Raham veva vidyo Vedan takri Veda vid eva cham. Because Krishna is saying that I am the creator of Vedas. I am the knower of Vedas. So that's why he can only deliver what is the real, what the real Vedas all about. Even the demigods, everybody will not know, 
Only Krishna can do that. And in Padma Puran, again, I want to reiterate the fact that if you are not connected to disciple succession, Sampradayana Vihina Yamantras Tenis Pala Mataha Atakalo Bhavishanti Chatava Sampradayana Sri Brahma Rudra Shanaka Vaishnavo Chiti Pavana Chatavas Vatse Kalo Bhavya Yud Kale Purushotamat He says, unless one is initiated by a bona fide spiritual master in the disciplic succession, the mantra he might have received is without effect. The mantra is not going to work, right? So it has to be through the disciplic succession. For this reason, the four Vaishnavas disciplic succession inaugurated by Lakshmi Devi, Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva and four Kumaras will appear in the holy place of Jagannath Puri and purify the entire earth during the age of Kali, Padma Purana, right? So again, what is the other quality of Guru? What is Guru, right? He is not different from Krishna. He is not different from, if one actually considers the spiritual master as ordinary human being, actually his spiritual progress is doomed, right? So why should we worship a Guru as like Krishna? as good as Krishna, as God, right? Even Krishna tells Uddhav that, you know, he said that, you know, to Uddhav that person should worship my devotees just like they worship me. In Srimad Bhagavatam, he says, Adhara parichayayam sarvangai abhibandhanam madhbhakta pujya vyadika sarva bhute suman mataha he says that a person should worship me using all the paraphernalia to my Vishnava devotee, right? And Chaitanya Adi Lila also uh, explained, putting this fact that actually Guru is not different from Krishna, right? It's not somebody who's a whimsical you're saying, it's a Sastra Praman. That's why I'm trying to put a lot of facts uh, from the Sastra to prove and say that like, you know, we should never consider Guru as an ordinary because this is one of the very, very big offense. Very big offense. Our spiritual progress will stop just by even having that talk. Right? Guru Krishna Rupa Hana Sastre Rapramane Guru Rupe Krishna Kripa Karena Bhakta Gane. According to the deliberate opinion of all revealed scriptures, the spiritual master is non different from Krishna. Lord Krishna, in the form of spiritual master, delivers his devotee. Right? Again, in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th Canto, 17th chapter, 27th verse. Acharya maam bijaniyan nava manya te karhiche na mritya vandhya suyeta sarva deva mayo guru. One should know the Acharya as myself. Krishna is saying that one should know, one should consider the Guru as himself, as Krishna. And never disrespect him in any way. You should never disrespect him. One should not envy him. You know, once one get worship um, the Guru in such opulence, one should not be envy, right? And thinking him as an ordinary man. He is, for he is the representative of all the demigods, right? He represents. So, again, um, and what Guru does, right? He said, Tasma Guru Prapadheta Jigyasu Sre Uttama Sabde Pare Chanishnatam Brahmanya Upasama Srayam. So, Guru actually he gives, right? Sabde Pare Chanishnatam. He is very expert in the knowledge of God, right? He is, he is very versed in Vedic knowledge and he gives this knowledge to the disciple who is very sub submissive that's the quality of guru right and to become a guru one is um, one one doesn't need any kind of material qualifications is required right because it says in, in the sastra that kiva bipra kivra nyasi sudra kena nyaya yehi krishna tattva vita se guru haya whether one is brahmana a sannyasi or a sudra regardless of what he is he can become a spiritual master if he knows the science of Krishna. 
So we don't have enough time. I'll just keep um, different. I'll just go through like you know there are different three kinds of guru. Um, they are Vatma Pratikshika guru, the first guru that who actually uh, connects you to Krishna consciousness. He is the first guru of all of us. And then very other two important guru is Diksha guru and Siksha guru, right? So only one Diksha guru is there now for us. We okay, give Harinam Diksha, then Brahman, uh, Brahman Diksha. Then there is Siksha guru. There can be multiple Siksha guru. Let's go. Skip this and once you get definitely initiated. Um, so, as again, we connect you to this, this verse um, that how a person can be qualified to become a disciple, right? So, one has to be submissive, right? Because Sanatana Goswami, when he met Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was meeting him and Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, actually, both of them are very, very learned scholars. They're the ministers. They were getting like lakhs of coins, golden coins as in salary. Because they were, they were expert in so many languages. They were versed in all the scriptures. Very, very expert. But look at their humility when they approach Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They say that, you know, we are fool number one. Because we believe on this, all these people who are saying that, oh wow, you're such a great scholar. Because we're such a fool that we don't know even who am I. What is the goal of my life? Right? And those discussion goes, then actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu reveals this knowledge. There's a lot of very nice um, shiksha, Sanatan shiksha, Rupa shiksha. In Chaitanya Sitamit, we can read that. Very, very important. Right? And that mood of humility is very, very important. So, in order to please Guru, the first quality, qualification we have to do is surrender. Even before asking questions, actually we are supposed to surrender, right? Then after surrender, we are supposed to do service. And then you put, Prabhupada said, relevant inquiries. Not just like, you know, asking unnecessary questions. Very relevant inquiries you are supposed to put, right? So, uh, I just wanted to... Um, in this session, like you know, it's a lot of. Uh, don't want to go through all the slides. I don't know if we have time. Um, want to end with this that there's a very beautiful verse from Stavamala. Uh, this depict the mood, our prayer. Actually, whenever we go and uh, see the deities, it is said that once you keep praying, you know, until at least you feel something, right? So um, you start to push yourself, your heart. In your prayers. So push is means pray until something happens. Feel that connection. So there's a prayer from Savastavamala. Manasa Japani Juste Labdha Patosmi Dushte Timira Gahana Rupe Hanta Samsara Kupe Ajita Nikila Raksham Hetu Mudara Daksham Upanaya Mama Haste Bhakti Rajum Namaste. In these prayers, um, it's, it's praying that Krishna actually I fall down in this dark well. And this dark well, there's a, there's a, there's a snake, a big frightening snake. The desire, the material desire, is eat, trying to eat me up. And Krishna, please sing the rope of bhakti to me. Then I promise. I promise that I'm gonna hold this rope. I'm never gonna leave it. Right? I'm gonna never gonna leave it. And you just pull because somebody from outside has to save us. Like if we are in the dark well, somebody from outside has to pull us, right? Who is stronger than us, right? Much more stronger than us. And the strength we can get is from Guru. And that rope actually is Guru. We have to keep holding. When we know that you know these devotees are going to really help me to practice Krishna consciousness, we should never leave the association. It will be very, very unfortunate of a person. As I was saying in the beginning, Brahmani, Brahmati, Kona Bhagavan, we got this seed and we just missed this opportunity of human life. Right? Manushya Janma Paya, Radha Krishna Nam Bhajiya, Janya Sunya Bizakhaina. We really don't have any qualification. We only have his devotees. Krishna se Tomara, Krishna Dide Para, Tomara Sakatiyaji. I really love this bhajan. Because who has Krishna? Only devotees have Krishna. If you read Srimad Bhagavatam, actually Krishna actually really glorified this point. Actually, I 
delivered this world, whole world by the dust of the lotus feet of devotees. He says, not my, my strength. By the, by the dust of these devotees, actually I purify the whole world. It's not my strength. Because that's the power of devotee. Right? Because they can always carry Krishna in your heart. Krishna se tomara, Krishna dite para. Tomara sakati. Whatever we have, right? We have the same power to give. If I have a million dollars, I have a power to give that money. If I don't have somebody else, I don't have. So in the same way, they only have Krishna in their heart. And they have the power of giving. Ami to Kangala, I'm a poor beggar, nothing in, with me. So I am begging, O Vishnu Thakur. Dhai Tava Paja, I'm begging, please give me Krishna. So we should beg from devotees, you know, to give of this association. Like give this association so that we can connect to Krishna. We can serve Krishna. Because devotee can make us you connect to Krishna. They will somehow or other they will force. You know, that's why Guru means heavy. We like, we don't like. But Guru makes you do it. Right? Because that's the meaning of Guru. He is very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. When we lift, started lifting like heavy stuff, we start building our muscles. <laughs> right? Because we need those muscles, the spiritual strength. Because time will come, we'll be weak. Because our consciousness, we might have so many things come up. That's why the surrender. The Guru Bhakti is very, very important. And that's why Krishna shows that one, unless one surrender to Krishna, one surrender to the Guru, it's not possible to receive the mercy of Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Hare. Maybe one question. <coughs> so Prabhu, you said, um, in the beginning, you said that, like, you know, uh, we must be very, very careful in making our decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, thank you. So, in the beginning, Prabhuji, you said, uh, thank you so much for the wonderful class, first of all. This was very, um, with a lot of references and very enlivening class. So, uh, in the beginning, you were saying that um, in, uh, we must be very careful in making our decisions. But most of the time, we are making our decision based on uh, the demands of our mind and senses and we don't really take time to think what is right and wrong mm -hmm. just like you know if I'm hungry I feel I see something to eat and I just eat so in that kind of approach how one can slow down and make, become more uh, like you know how what is your advice for uh, someone like, like in terms of accepting a guru no in, in terms of like how one can slow down so that he can think what is right and wrong before come just jumping on to uh, the actions. The, the slowing down itself is accepting someone as a guidance. Because uh, this is what I have learned. I always tell to many devotees. Um, when I came to America, I was when I was practicing, my Siksha Guru told me this very important instruction um, that, you know, respect everyone. Uh, respect everyone, whoever it is, you have to respect them. And associate with very few. You have to be very, very selective in association. Right? You have to be careful whom you are associated with. Right? Associate with very few. And open your heart with very, very few. You have to be very, again, among them, like those associates, you have to be very selective in opening your heart. Right? And follow one or two. Very limited following. Because you'll be confused. Because if you see, you know, there are so many things to do in Bhakti. You suppose do like Sankirtan now, you sort of go to Vishnu, you'll give lecture, go. So many things, but what to do? Right? So, making a decision uh, to slow down actually means first hearing. When we hear properly, that's why the, the word Shruti itself means hearing. Right? So, when we hear, actually we get, we develop attachment. We, we get like, you know, a, a kind of uh, the, uh, that's why like, you know, the, the, it, it develops a faith in us first, right? When we de develop some certain kind of faith, then actually it encourages us to take the second stage called uh, accepting spiritual master, like, you know, finding Guru, right? Guru Ashraya. Trying to find Guru because you have certain faith to 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 do kind of worship now. Like you know, um, I know Krishna is God, but what to do? Right? What process I suppose for staying? 
like I start jumping, doing things, reading like you know all the scriptures. I sometimes jumping in Bhagavatam, sometimes jump, jumping in Chaitanya Chaitanya, trying to read these scriptures, that scriptures, the Vedas, sometimes reading Ramayana, sometimes Mahabharat. Where we can do? What is my qualification? What should I start from? Right. So that's why when you start hearing from devotees that is like you know uh, very close to you, and especially like you know for us in Scon is Sila Prabhupada. Right. He is our 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 main Diksha Guru for everyone, right? Even we might have a Diksha Guru, but he is our prominent uh, Diksha Guru for all all entire Scon, right? And when we start hearing, we actually develop that we need to have more association of the devotees, and from that process, when we hear properly, then our Bhajan Kriya, the process of chanting and everything, will develop very beautifully. We exactly know like why I am chanting. We develop. That quality, right? So taking that 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 um, step back or slowing down itself is like it's it should not be um, what is it called. Um, there is very nice terminology. You know, like uh, a quick excitement we might have. Uh, I forgot the nectar devotion is very nice term. Uh, like falsely, like you know, you are you are so enthusiastic. But it doesn't stay for long, right? Because it's temporary. Like everybody's doing, you just like jumping. Wow, Krishna consciousness is a nice, nice thing. But when you continue, continue practice, oh, it's so difficult actually. Seems like that. Because when I started, Krishna consciousness just went like this, so fun, so nice. You know, Bhagavad was there, Kirtan, Prashadam, you know, everything. But by time, now there's a responsibility you have to take. There are so many th- things comes with it, because that's one of the. Principle of Guru is to make you responsible, right? To develop that responsibility. That's why Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada says this is a Hari Krishna movement. You know, it's not stagnant. It's a movement. You have to keep moving. You have to keep preaching, right? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also said you have to keep preaching this message because people are so much fallen. Right? So you have to progress like that by by through the through the hearing process. Develop a lot of hearing and and taking guidance. Uh, because making decision is so. Uh, sometimes when we make something very wrong decision, it it makes us like you know uh, everything fall down. Sometimes we even started like you know seeing faults in our guru itself. Because sometimes by sentiments we take initiation from some certain guru. We do some certain kind of activities, you know, not, by not consulting. And it, I was hearing um, uh, Haladhar Maharaj. Very nice class actually in Guru Toto. Every day one I would recommend to hear that. He was saying this very important uh, thing that the Sotantata, the freedom, is such a dangerous thing one can have. You know? If we are doing the even bhakti by the feeling of Sotantra, mm. by, by my own wills, ah, this is what I supposed to do. Actually, it's not bhakti. It's not bhakti at all. You're just feeding an ego. And that's why Guru means surrender means we surrender our ego. Aha Prabhu Koro Daya Deho Mori Padajaya. My body, my, everything I give to you, my Lord. Guru Dev. You just speak with that's why Prabhupada when he came to America. Just imagine. His his prayers are very deep. Markani Bhagavad, if everyone can recite this. Right? He says, Nachao, Nachao Prabhu. Nachao se mate Kashthera putali jatha Nachao se mate Krishna, please make me dance Make me dance as you like It's not like, oh Krishna, I want this, I want No, Krishna Please make me dance as you want, as you like Right I'm just like a puppet in a hand And that's a qualification Right, one wants to develop We should dance in, in the words of Guru Not our own whimsical thing because that doesn't become bhakti. We might be thinking we are doing bhakti, but it's not being accepted. I, I, there are a lot of verses I, was, I quoted, but we didn't have time. You know, when Krishna actually, Krishna says, I'll just finish with this. What Krishna says that very important verse, what he says. Hmm. See, Krishna is saying, Arjuna, as being a disciple, he said, Marchita Sarva Durgani, Mat Prasada Tarishasi, Atha Chitvam Ahankaran, Nasrushasi, 
Pinakshasi. He says, if you become conscious of me, you will pass over all the obstacles of conditioned life by my grace. But if, however, you do not work in self consciousness, now it means that you're not following my instruction. Because Krishna is not more than talking about God, he's as a guru. He's saying, because by not following instruction of Guru, and you do, right? You do not work in such consciousness, but at true false ego. That's actually our fault because I can do this, I want to do it. Like I just love it, I'll do it. It's for Krishna, I love to do it. No. What actually Krishna Guru desires about you? What he really wants from you? You just follow, right? And not hearing me, you will be lost. One day will time will come, you know, you're nowhere in Krishna consciousness. Many men have seen so many devotees. The, you know, they were together with me, like in the visa in Nepal, we started. I, I don't even see them, not even practicing. Very sincere devotee at the time. Right? Then they become whimsical. They're not following the authority. You know, just started acting. So that's why that's the time you need to take a break. We have to ask, we have to inquire, what I'm doing is okay. So like, like even like, you know, chanting also process. Like, not recommend you start six in round, every, but I would, no, start with round now, one round. If you can do, definitely more, but stick with one round at least. Then two round. Then cultivate. That consistency is very, very important. We have to be consistent in bhakti. And up higher, not going down. So you can do one round, then do two round, then three round. That consistency requires. But it has to be done under supervision of devotees. In Kaliuga, it's very difficult. Before, in other, other time, like, you know, Sadhya Yuga, all the, they used to be in Gurukula. They follow. There is nothing. When the guru says something to the disciple, they says Om. Om means yes. There is no other. No, there is no word called no. When the guru guru says like you know, Prabhu, can you do this? Oh. And this is do it. There is no question of like you know oh, why or oh, we could do better like no nothing like that. Om. That's it, guru. Tavas me. Whatever you say is that's it. I'm here to do it. Thank you so much. Again, I took extra time. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay.